Well, a promise from Pope Francis today to zealously protect young people, and that word to bishops in regard to clergy sex abuse. Brian Moore has more on the final day of the pontiff's visit to the United States. In the waning hours of his U.S. journey, the People's Pope lived up to his nickname, kissing babies one after another after another, briefly jumping out of his Pope mobile and leaving security scrambling, generally giving the masses what they want. One last glimpse before he took the stage at the crowning event of his U.S. trip, a mass for more than 860,000 people to wrap up the world meeting of families. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. He began his day on a somber note at a seminary, making an unexpected statement on sex abuse by the clergy. Dios llora. God weeps, he said, after a private meeting and prayer with victims. Los crímenes y pecados for the sexual abuse no of children, en secreto por these más cannot más be más maintained más in secret. Speaking about families, he showcased his humor in advice to moms whose sons won't move out and get married. And I say, don't iron his shirts anymore. At a prison, he embraced inmates, calling for rehabilitation and redemption. I stand among you, a pastor, a shepherd, but above all, as your brother. Before a hundred prisoners or a huge crowd of worshipers, a pope reaching out to the people. While this was his first trip to the United States, it's safe to say Pope Francis leaves, having made an extraordinary impression. Brian Moore, NBC News, Philadelphia.